Navi versus no Pangalier. Navi coming in with a good old drow strat. Up with uh, that 18 last hits. There's DD Rune. Goes to gets it. He does. Does get fire blasted. Just get a good few spins off with the battle hunger. Some punches into Jew. He's going to start DD. chasing down this Earth Spirit. Oh. Indeed, with that double damage, Ghosting gets first blood with the punches. It's the Ark coming across, trying to help find something in return. Ghosting still with the double damage rune going. Zayats does fall. Rotation as well from Naive is going to set up Ghosting for a double kill. Maybe even more as this double damage has done so much here for Ghostic as he's going to be able to get... Nah, not Suneko. Naive will take that one. So no triple kill, but still... Yeah, he's back on par with the Visage. And this axe is... The axe has already worked, oh, right? Yeah. He's, Completely he's, worked. He's, he's level gonna six. He's going to hit these item timings that the panel talks about. Yep. This Drow's Trout's going to be worried about. Yep. Bottom lane, Crystallize, he's getting dove upon us. They're going straight in underneath the tower. Mass TPs are coming in from Na'Vi. Will not be enough to save the Drow. Maybe they can find some return kills. They're trying for the Lich. They do find Slayer, so they'll find at least one in return. And they get Zayats as well. Zayats trying to make his way away, but he's underneath the tower. Na'Vi will be able to claim the two of them. And that is the Vanguard done. Six and a half minutes in Damn. for Ghostic. That is a very, very far back. As Ark commits forward for the tower, it looks like he will probably die here. Ghostic knives there as well, as he is trying to come across to chase down Naive, but a quick stun will hold back the Weaver. Weaver running, but uh, he's not going to be able to Shikuchi out. I mean, Ghostic, he he's going owning. absolutely am this game. So, oh, the roll forward, yeah, quick Ghostic call. is going to be there with a response. The Chain Frost only getting thrown out to Chew, no Ooh. bounces. He gets a boulder smash down onto the two of them. Ghostic getting multicast as well by Suneko. The Helm of the Dawn Creek comes in from Ark. Ghostic gets another call out, but he will fall. Blizzy goes for the time lapse back, but Silas got his eyes on him, he gets blasted. Can they kill off this Weaver in time? They can. As Naive inside the Weaver form himself, chasing down with the Shikuchi, will secure the double kill. You've already got some of the damage secured by the fact you have a Drow. Ghostic, Ghostic does get the catch with the jump in and Berserk. It's called Blood Bright to follow up as well as everything being thrown down onto Ark. They get the and two man fear. fear as well, perfectly set up by Zayas to allow Naive to get a double kill. They get the third as well as Seneko will fall. Easy! As, uh, you know, a fear coming in from Zayats can do is suddenly the tier three towers just taken. They are going for the split push, Na'Vi. Top lane. Crystallize and Blizzy will get a tier three themselves. They're even onto the racks. Look at this. I mean, no Pangolier. They have to run. They're two of their heroes are running all the way up there. This they're, is, uh, this is, they're uh, literally this is losing really their top good for racks. Na'Vi. <laughs> they got him, Na'Vi. Easy. They'll take the melee racks. I mean, they, they probably don't even care if they die here, as they got what they're coming for. Crystallize is punching oh. back. He's got to oh. get the kill on Zayat. He gets to slow as well on Slayer. He's forcing him away. He's standing his ground. He'll take both the racks. He says, you can take my life, but I've just taken your base. Having an excellent time as this five position. Let's have the middle lane. Now, you've already started to lead in. He's just getting very close to going away, though. Jumping from Ghosting. It's only onto Seneca once again. There's the Hex coming down straight away. They're looking to burst him, but oh, he's still at the Aegis for a few seconds. So this is going to work in Naive's favor. As he's going to be back with a second light. Silo with the Blade Mel and the BKB chase down finds the kill onto Arg. As Navi, I, I guess it was sort of forced upon them, but just having to take that fight a few seconds earlier. If they got that Hex and a kill, Five seconds later, that would have been naive out of the fight. But as it is, no Pango in a great position in this team fight as they can continue to push on for more. Take down Seneco. That's a dieback on the Ogre Magi. A boulder smash comes out as well as the three man gust. They're focusing he's, he's, down the Morphling with the silence. They're going to get that? it. They're able to get the kill onto the Morphling. Blizzy with his blade mail trying to go up against Sila. But Sila, he's. Has he got the damage? Blizzy's got the time lapse. Time lapse will keep the Weaver safe. They can get Ghostic as well. Crystallize with the positioning. Punches into him with the arrows. The rest of Nopango back off. The amount of money that Na'Vi's been able to benefit from. Them. They've got a gold advantage now. And Ghostic shows okay. his face. Ooh, jumps upon. There is a fear being thrown out, but Ghostic, he's already gone. He's dead for 50 seconds. The Chain Frost bouncing between them. Crystallize does fall. An attempt there was there to keep him alive with the time lapse, but it was not enough. Arc Dota going for the TP out, but they've got a quick stun from Naive as he throws out the adaptive strike, does clean up a third. Three heroes dead on Na'Vi. That's BKB right now. That's Na'Vi, they're heading strange. The pick Ghost it could find a big opening as he oh comes in with God. the three-man taunt straight away. Zap forward with the waveform, they've got the fear down as well. Na'Vi absolutely in shatters here as they've lost the Ogre, they've lost the Visage. Blizzy getting focused by Sala. Ghostic does fall. Blizzy has to run himself away. There was Navi. They've lost three. 
And will Belize be forced to buy back? 30 seconds without the Weaver. As they go straight away, they get the Hex. Na'Vi, can they kill him off in time? They've got the birds upon him. Some familiar stuns too. Ghosted came in with a call. Does manage to bring one of them low, but the time lapse is there, keeping Seneco alive. Gets in that second life. As now, no Pango. They're having to back away. Chu, he rolls in straight away with the Magnetize. There's, they've already managed to kill off two of them. As they will lose Chu. But again, Na'Vi forcing no pango out of the base. DD Butterfly, this man is certainly punching for sort of around over 600. And the full morph is Ghostic, tries to lead with a quick hex. He's there with the response. Ah, gets the hex straight away. The fear comes down to Snake, crystallized, pops the BKB, starts to back up with the Shadow Blade. But Na'Vi, they've lost two members. As that is Weaver dead without buyback arc as well. He's dead for 75. He does not have buyback as Eva. As that is two cores down without buyback. They did kill Ghostic. So there's no axe. But they are missing their... They're missing a lot oh, of their on. punch. Yeah. They have not got the Hex. They have not got the Nullifier that they do need to have a chance of killing the Morphling. Who is Blood Rage with a DD. Look at those buildings drop. Chu nice He stops. is trying to do his best to slow them down. Crystallize gets the Gust off, but the Blade Mail's there from Sailor. As now they move in, surround Crystallize. Crystallize trying to force himself back to base, but they've got the burst. Crystallize falls. He buys back straight away to find at least the Lich. They're pushing them off the racks they as are. well. They're backing away, naive respecting this sort of defense. The Navi are coming into play with Chu again with a two-man boulder smash. Looks to roll away. The Cursed Crown comes down as well as the Fear as they'll get the Earth Spirit. But Navi, again, are managing to sort of push them away. Seneca will lose his life. So now it's just down to Crystallize. They've got to buy back on Chu. Do you like this as well? You know, Zayat's actually building a refresher orb. He, he, I think he, he has it finished, yeah. I believe. The Hex comes out. Oh, they, they've got the opening. Can they kill him off in time? They're going forth. The Fizz going to get laid down. Goes with the BKB trying with the controllers. Naive will be kept safe for now. They could not quite burst the Morphling and now they'll lose heroes themselves. As Seneca chased down by No Pangalier. They did use their BKB charges for this though, No Pango. So if Na'Vi can make sure no one else oh, goes Zayat down. They'll be in a good position, but indeed, choose found by Zayats. Into the pit he goes, has to catch onto the Earth Spirit. They get yeah. two of them. Let's see, that, that wrap around it could be deadly. You're right, Zayats looks to lead him with the brown ball. He gets the rune out onto the two of them. They jump forward straight away, but the Hex is out. Got the Hex on the Morphling, they have the damage to kill him off. It doesn't look like they do, as Naive's going to be more than fine. The Fear out to both of them as Ark's dead. He has got buyback available, and so Seneca. The double buyback coming into play. Blizzy getting focused, he's silenced. He does have the time lips, goes to the side, but again, the Fear and the Rupture causes the death of the Weaver. He's gone for 120 seconds. Blizzy does not have buyback. Taking There's the no Pangalier. They're looking for the Mega Creeps and they will find the melee. They're looking for more. The Refresher pops, allowing Zayas to blink out. Nayab zipping straight in to find Seneco as GG will be called as no Pangalier finally able to close up game one. But they have yeah. to have a very, very good start in this game, and I love the sniper pick as well. And alive. Yeah, they got the dispel, but they slowed down the Shadow Shum's attacks as Blizzy Bottom getting chased out. He is looking pretty dead. Try to juke it. Won't save himself. First blood for no Pangaliers, naive. As uh, he is able to sort of continue trading farm. He secured him. He he's secured getting him a little bit. He's getting monsters, a little bit yeah. ahead, actually. Yeah, he's starting to get a little bit of a the break. On top lane, the oh. Hex indeed, but Crystallize still gets the kill. Bottom lane, assassinate, ah, comes in with the rotation. Heavy rotations now from Navi down toward bottom. This smoke coming in. They want to try to go for Naive here again too. Blizzy's got level six. He's good moving in. The Malefice is there, sort of slowing Naive down as Blizzy can close the gap. He's not messing around. Goes for the black hole, has the control needed to kill off the Jara. Slayer does come in with Courier. two people. They end up losing the Courier as well. Going to be picked up relatively soon. Ward down arc. behind the tower, and that's going to give them the vision to jump in straight away onto the sniper. Ward's dropped down as well as they will get themselves the kill. Get the sniper, double kill from Ghostic. In fact, they can look to take down the egg as well, and they've it? got oh, the clicks to goodness. do so. They get the egg. Naive still alive, healed up by Ghostic as Na'Vi have lost three heroes. They've lost the tier two tower. They'll lose Chu as well as he's stuck in the trees. So I'm looking to see if we, we can get something big out of this because they're smoked up. They've got 10 seconds left on the smoke. They're going to find them here as they come round. He can go for the black hole now, and he certainly will. Jumps in, gets Slayer, gets Sailor as he gets the two of them. The two back. down, but indeed Ghostic striking back. Has he got the damage to bring down Arc? He has not as the Supernova successful. Seneco gets it off. They get the stun. They're taken down three for no Pangalier. Naive is having a BKB and retreat. And without the black hole, Supernova and Overgrowth it is a lot harder for Navi to fight around the pit. We'll see how careful no Pango plays. Slayer. 
Goes for the sex. He does have to jump in as well from Ghost Tick. As Ghost Tick has the duel. Can they get the kill? And done? They can't. As Seneko, he's going to be the one to win this battle. As he gets the kill, will lose his own life. But again, Na'Vi, they've found two. Assassinate, not enough to finish off Zayat. He was very close to it for a while, but died Ooh. a couple of times. Look at this already. Chew. He's just charging straight in. He's got the overgrowth. They're going to jump forward. Naive he's just going to be kept here, but they've got the control. Blizzy with the black hole, holding down the gyro. Zayat gets taken down. They take the Aegis straight away from the gyro. There's going to be the jump in from Ghost Dick. Looking to try and make the duel happen, but he's going to lose this duel oh as well as now God. Chew. He's won a duel too. Naive gets taken down. Na'Vi. Picking no Pangalera apart one by one. Slayer, he's going to drop the wards. Goes with the hex onto Snake up, but the jump four is there from Blizzy with the Malefice. Crystallizes the damage with a chase down. This is a triple kill for the Weaver. They'll farm up the Serpent wards as well. No way to get that so troll. So, no creep. troll summon. Yeah, there's, there's no, literally no way to answer it. If he gets a BKB black hole, it's, it's going to be as deadly as ever. Ghost Stick was thinking about going for a duel, but uh, they're going to hold him down with the Overgrowth, and Crystallize has the damage to kill him as they just get both of them again. Narvi. Quick two kills. There's no Pangalera. You know, is it just is it surprising the knife just doesn't go for the mouse oh. at all? Well, oh, hold that as Blizzy. BKB, black hole. Can he kill him off in time? Zayat's falling low. The assassinate's coming in. Zayat does get popped. Knife to get the BKB off and is able to back away. Chew looking to set up with potential overgrowth, but won't find the opportunity to do so. Slayer actually gets the hex, the blast, the shaman wars down as well as they look to find the kill onto the weaver. But the living armor is it enough to keep it safe? It is. It's not. They've lost the weaver. Assassinate. Ark finds a second. Double kill for the sniper as he snipes down another. Now there's going to be another tower here. Take one. Now Eden. They they come back in. They don't back all the way off. And there is the overgrowth. There's the death of the IO. Naive. He has got a BKB and will go for the BKB oh. TP out as he does manage to escape. It's so hard here for No Pangalier. They're actually just going to go for relocate play. They don't actually want to take this fight. They send themselves up top with the Shadow Shaman. They have this Ags Serpent Wards. Okay. And with the weight pushing the bot, they do have the, the backdoor taken down. Oh they go in with the black God. hole, though. And they've lost two, three heroes in the base. So they may get that top rack. So I think the wards actually should be able to finish off that melee barracks. Let's see what Blizzy can do. Ooh, two, looks forward. They oh, spot him, they know. He is stunning it off, but he is going to get hexed. Straight away, Ghosting jumps in, goes for the duel. Oh. The Black Hole, Blizzy! Oh, he gets God. all four. Blizzy comes in with the Black Hole. There's the second to clean it all up as GG is cool. Just oh, like that, Chu once again going in, getting the vision, drawing the attention of No Pangalier, and no hesitation there from Blizzy. Game three now of Na'Vi versus No Pangalier. There's just so many things they have to address. Yeah. Zayat's dropping low here. They might actually be able to get the kill here onto this tree. The crit. Oh, they got him. him. Okay, first blow for Na'Vi. Able to propose a threat onto the Huskar because they're, like we said, they're the physical damage dealers for the side of Na'Vi. I'll go sick. Just trade back with the Who Stomp and Double Edge onto Seneco. Crystallize still trying his best to finish off Ghosting. Ghost should be able to, and he does. Gets the kill onto Ghosting. Now looking for Slayer. Slayer already used the dive aggressively. So Na'Vi. We said they needed nice. to get kills in the lanes, and there we have a Double kill for Crystallize up top. And look at this wraparound mid. Okay, big rotation. It is a level 7 Husker. He has got the heal going. He's going to jump forward across, look to back away, but they've got the control with the Frostbite. Can they kill him off? They can. They're using the Stampede top. Setting up onto Seneco. Ghost Dick will get the kill, but... He's going to die for it. But the Thunder God's Wrath, he certainly does. Again. Na'Vi. Every single kill and trade, they're coming out on top. You lose an Ogre, but you take the life of a Centaur. You take that every single time. Hasted Zeus, too. Look at bottom. They can maybe find the chance. He does have level 6. He's going to try and turn look for a Thunder opportunity, but he can't find it. Arc Dota with the rotation. Look at this. They're trying to see if they can set up onto mid. Sailor does have the armlet, but he's going to have a fair few things he's going to need to toggle through. If Na'Vi get on top of him, indeed they do. Sailor will jump forward onto Crystallize, but Crystallize keeps the distance with the Shikuchi. Sailor's still alive for now. They pop the Primal Split, the Supernova coming out as well. Crystallize, he's the actually root. going to come back in with the time lapse, and the Supernova stands there as well, so they do have the control to take down the Weaver. They get the kill on Crystallize. As he has got the backup of the Phoenix and the Huskar in the neighborhood. They'll open up onto Seneca. TPs are coming in. Seneca gets out the Fire Blast, but he will still fall. Blizzy jumps in. Does have a wand charge if he wants to wand and use the ultimate. He certainly will. Pops the wand, spots the Primal Split, gets a stun out to Sylar, but he needs damage. He's coming over in the form of Crystallize. as does throw Sylar up into the air. They'll go in, but the jump's there. Ghosting with the counterplay comes in on top of Crystallize. They do lose the Huskar. They do lose the tree and the Sensor. Na'Vi striking back as Ark throwing out an insane amount of damage with the Zeus that team fights. Nah, nah, into the mid game and late game. Oh, Ghostic. Jumps forward. 
It's going to find the Hoostop. Is there any save here for Ark? It does not look like it, as again, the egg will be popped. Arctic's down. Navi trying to get themselves out. Chu will not be able to TP as well. Uh, oh dear. This, this, I mean, this terrible really is looking very scary. Yeah, it, it, it absolutely is. You know, say Navi, sure, they're ahead in terms of the numbers, but it's going to start to crumble pretty soon. As we can see here, this team fight knife turns up. They're able to take one. They're looking to get themselves on top of Ark. The supernova drop down as well as Ark. Will Yule's up. Goes to get an attempt to get himself away from the set and saw. Thunder God's Wrath comes through. The supernova stun able to clip Chu on the side. The BKB popped by Naive as he heads in with the reflection, chases down the Zeus, has the vision onto Chu as a triple kill is picked up for a Naive and very much a case of Terrorblade oh, entering the game. Blizzy held down by the root. Who stomped to ultra kill for Naive. Give oh. that boy a rampage. Oh, Sailor, Almost. you're off the squad, sir. You just denied that man a rampage. But still, this is this is what, this we, is what yeah. happens when Terrorblade turns up. He's he like, I'm just... done farming. It's time to make this game a 5v5 rather than a 5v4 that Na'Vi has to deal with. This, and I, I don't know if they can. Blade. He's going to turn and sunder you, and then, bam, time is bought for the rest of the team to go into their jungle and defend him. Naive is getting jumped upon here. Sunder. Turns with the sunder, jumping from Ghostic. He's got the burst to take down the brew. 50 seconds now without Blizzy. Naive moving in as well with the BKB. Turns towards Seneco. Seneco will fall. Two kills here for No Pangalier. Chu taken down as well as once again the Terrorblade just cleaning up house. Na'Vi's hero lineup just doesn't really stand a chance. Mm -hmm. Ghostic. Getting pressured. The damage coming in from the Zeus and Crystallized, They're but they heal. The base. They do lose the Centaur, but the Supernova out once again. There's no way to take down this egg. There'll be a buyback coming through from Crystallized, but the bottom set of racks cleaned up by No Pangalier, and they'll just they GG out. It. They know that there's no way to turn this game back around as Na'Vi called GG, and No Pangalier take the series 2-1 to one to move forward to the grand finals here at the main cast Autumn Brawl.